The first step to fabricating, uh, we need to open up Mach 3. Now that we've opened up Mach 3, we're going to go into File. We're going to load the G-code. And we are looking for, here it is, Laser Mobile Shell Fabrication Board 1. Okay, now that we've opened up the file, uh, we can see it in the display over here. We'll see how or where it's going to, the tooling paths on the material. Uh, now we need to do is uh, zero each of our axes. For this project, we have chosen a birch plywood. And we hold down all of our material with wood screws, which is going to be screwed into our spoil board. And we try to align them as close to the edge as possible. Now let's come over here and we walk through the next process. We need to, we manually uh, zero our axes. Bring it all the way over here to the far corner. This right here will zero our uh, X and Y. Zero X, zero Y. Now we're going to manually zero the Z axis. Now what we're going to do is uh, we're zeroing the Z axis, but I need to find the flushest area. Which is right about here. The flushest area where between the, the birch and the spore board. What I'm going to do is I'm putting a piece of paper down here and very slowly lower the Z axis. Once the end mill gets close enough, I'll start pulling the paper out from underneath there. Once the paper has stopped moving, I know the Z is set at where it needs to be. Now you can see that the end mill is tied up against the paper and it won't move, so we know that the Z axis is set. Now you can see in the middle of the screen, you got the X, Y, now we're zeroing the Z. Now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to raise the spindle off the paper so that whenever we go to cycle start, it won't drag against the material. So now that we've uh, raised the Z axis, to make sure it doesn't uh, scrape against the material. Now we're going to start up the spindle. Okay, hang on. Okay, now that uh, the spindle's up and running to its full capacity, come over here and turn on the vacuum. Now that we got the vacuum up and running, uh, we'll go over to cycle start.
Okay, so that is how you take a model in SketchUp. You um, transfer the model in SketchUp to a CAM program, and then fabricate the fabricate the model on the CNC machine. Thank you for watching.